New tonight, a local nine-year-old boy is getting results in a big way. First, he started a business, and now he is paying it forward. New success Jennifer Ortega joins us in Apopka with his mission tonight to bring the community together to help others in need. It was a big night for nine year old Anthony Torres. Two months ago, he started a lemonade stand and finally tonight he got to see all those proceeds go to feeding the homeless. Anthony, we're so proud of you. So we want to give you this certificate. <laughs> and um, we, we need more more young people like Anthony. <laughs> Anthony Torres made his way around the room at Apopka First Baptist Church, making sure everyone had a hot meal, giving everyone a warm greeting and saying, Hello, my name is Anthony Torres, and I will give him a handshake and a hug. It's surreal. I'm extremely humbled by this whole experience. It's awesome. Tanya Rosario tells us her son started the lemonade stand in front of their Apopka home, that every day her son would notice people less fortunate in the area and has always wanted to help. Oh, I'm trying not to think about it right now because it's a bit overwhelming. You know, my nine-year-old son coming up with this and here we are. It, it's coming to pass and he's actually going to feed 130 homeless tonight. So. I'm extremely proud. Rosario says they had a goal of $500, but they quickly surpassed that goal and hit $800. Tonight, Torres got to see what giving back really looks like. I'm nervous and scared and excited at the same time. This is really cool. I tell you, when you get a, a, a young kid that really knows there's a need out in the community and I mean, how many weeks did it take him to, to raise $800? I mean, he has really worked hard. The mayor says they'll be recognizing Torres in city council on September 19th. And the family tells me they'll be opening up that lemonade stand again very soon. In Apopka, Jennifer Ortega, News 6.